Hey guys, Logan here, great to see you and welcome to another video. Yesterday we got a brand new update for Batsu 1, the weapon crate update. And as you can hear, this update contains a lot of new weapons and new weapon variants. I know I made a video a while ago on some of the new variants that were being tested in the CTE, but now they're finally here in the main game. And I will leave a link to that video in the description down below. Okay, so what weapons did we get with this awesome update? We got the Annihilator Trench, and I will return to explain that weapon later. Sjögren Slug, that's a new variant of Sjögren, the shotgun. We got Ribrolls Optical, one of my favorite new weapons. The Machine and Pistola Experimental with the two fire burst mode. The M1917 Patrol Carbine. The Type 38 Arisaka Patrol. Carcano Patrol Carbine. You see, we have a lot of new patrol guns. Uh, we got the Ross MK3 Infantry. The M1917 Einfield Silence, that's the silenced sniper rifle. And we, we got two new melee weapons, the Welsh Blade Melee and the Sickle Melee Weapon. Of these insane amount of 11 new weapons or variants, three of them are actually totally new. I'm talking about the Thompson Annihilated Trench that so many players have been waiting for. This SMG have a very high rate of fire and are most fit for close quarter combat than long distance shooting. This weapon has to be unlocked before you can use it, and to unlock it you will need to get 100 kills with the main weapon playing as the assault class, and 25 kills with your sidearm while playing as the assault class. Not that hard of a challenge, just play as the assault and you will get your kills. The other two new weapons are melee weapons and called Welsh Blade and the Sickle. As I said, both are melee weapons and the Welsh Blade are free to use for all players, but the Sickle is locked. To unlock it you will need to get 5 kills in one game with the Welsh Blade. The counter or progress bar for this one seems a little bugged in the menu, but in game you can see your progress as it should be. Okay, that's the new weapons, but if you have played the game after the update, you have maybe noticed some welcome change to the sweet spot function. For the scout soldier, and yeah, that's you. When active, scopes will contain depth in field on target area. Anything outside the shooter's sweet spot will appear out of focus. Anything inside the shooter's sweet spot will be in focus. Holding breath will expand the focus range and allow shooter to see everything in their field of view more clearly. Depth of field is applied to the following sniper packages, Marksman, Patrol and Sniper. The Gewehr 95 Marksman and the Carcano Patrol Carbine will have a depth in field applied even though they don't have a sweet spot. And here is the info for the difference for your opponent. Your opponents inside a sniper sweet spot will be seen a rainbow lens flare. Marksman and patrol scopes now have scope glints, so all the rifles with scopes will now give away a glint. And that's a good thing if we can aim that. The Gewehr 95 Marksman and Carcano patrol carbine will use standard glint across all ranges due to their lack of a sweet spot. Iron sight and lens sights will not give away a scope glint. Their magnification power is low enough that players should be able to identify potential shooters without the assistance of the glint. Of course we are getting some more changes to the maps, the user interface and some of the weapons, but all of that isn't that interesting to listen to, so I will instead leave a link to the whole patch notes down below. But one last thing I want to mention is the change to the player journey and progress. They have added new weapon assignments for Annihilated Trench and Sickle melee weapon, as I mentioned before. 10 new soldier ranks, so you can now become 150. Nice to have something to work towards again, it's a little too much score. I think it's like 5.5 million score to reach 141, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure this uh, will change soon, because it would take forever to rank to 150. But it's nice to have something more to work towards, as I said. And uh, I don't know about you, but I've been top rank for a while now. They also added service stars for the new weapons, which is a given for me. Fixed the issue where the players could skip earning class rank dog tags while leveling up more than one rank at a time. I've not experienced this, but players who have experienced this issue will receive their missing dog tags the next time they level up. Okay. Overall, it seems like the developers are giving us plenty new cool stuff and changes to keep us occupied. Not long now before the next Battlefield title will be revealed. I'm already so excited for that. I'm sure you are too. Okay, I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up to support the video, and 
of course don't forget to leave your comment down below i want to know which weapon is your favorite of the new ones i hope to see you in my next video this is logan signing out